I will now continue with the Fluxion attack and we have already captured the handshake from the previous uh, video now we'll do number 1 so press 1 and enter and then I still have my two wireless uh, adapters one is the external one which is the USB wireless adapter and one is the built-in one I will use the built-in one WLAN 0 for the access point and I will use WLAN 1, the external one for doing the, the authentication attack so let's get started so he asked to select the wireless interface for searching so that should be number 2 for me enter and then channel to monitor is number 1 all channels and then give it some time to capture all the available access point and once you see your target you can control C to close the window and now you can select from the list the target for me it's number 11 and then here select a wireless interface for target tracking I will choose again WLAN 1 always choose the WLAN 1 the one that has got the ability to enter monitor mode and then this attack has been configured if you have done this before then you choose number 2 otherwise uh, always choose number 2 whether you have done it before or not choose 2 Set the attack. Select an interface for jamming. Again, you should choose the wireless adapter that has got ability to enter monitor mode, which is number one for me. And then now, this one you should choose another one. You should choose number two, WLAN zero, the one which just uh, will be the access point. So WLAN zero need not be the able to enter monitor mode it doesn't have to be able to enter monitor mode so 2 WLAN 0 enter now select this one row access point use host APD number 1 enter and hash was found okay this hash refers to the handshake the handshake we already did it uh, in the previous lesson and we managed to capture it so now he asks you do you want to use of course we want to so select number one select a method for verification select number three verification means after the user enter the key the system will compare it with the hash the handshake and the method that we are selecting is a recommended one which is number 3 and then now he asks to create an SSL SSL is needed for in case the user tries to navigate to a page which uses HTTPS so we need to put number 1 for this so let it generate and here what method of connectivity choose number 1 disconnected that means you you want the attacker system to disconnect the user from their own access point so choose one and here is the list of all the fake website that will be served to the user to trick them to key in the wi-fi key i'm going to choose number seven which is english generic press enter And the attack has started and you can see from the screen here uh, in the center here you have the access point which is running this is the fake access point with the same name as the our the real access point um, and then 
over on the left hand side is the DHCP server. DHCP server will give an IP address to anyone who connects to the fake access point. Uh, and the uh, DNS server also started. DNS server will um, resolve any website which the user enter into our own web server. That means the user will be redirected uh, to our own web server. Our own web server will give the user the web page to prompt them to key in the Wi-Fi key. And then on the top right hand corner is the authenticator which shows how many people have connected, who are currently connected, and how many attempts uh, they have tried when the when with the keying in of the Wi-Fi password. How many times they have keyed in the Wi-Fi password wrongly. And then Bottom right is the de-authentication attack jammer service. This attack will disconnect the, any user from the uh, original access point. So now we head over to the Windows machine and take a look. So this is the Windows machine. The and it <coughs> it is uh, connected to my original access point and you can see here the fake access point IoT lab same name as the original one and now if I try to go to any website see what happens <coughs> it is not able to go to any website at all see that so now the user will try to connect to the other one which is the same name as this And now the user can't go anywhere, so the user will try to key in a website. So let's let us say the user keys in this website. And press enter. And straight away it will be given the fake uh, website that comes from our fake access point and here it asks the user to enter the Wi-Fi key so the user might key in the wrong one click connect and you can see here the user gets an error saying the password enter is incorrect so click the user will click on the back button And this time the user will key in the correct key. And click connect. And you see, this time it says, please wait while the password is verified. And that means the password entered was correct. So now the user will be able to just go back to the original access point and connect and you should be able to serve the internet as usual so if you head back to the uh, uh, attacker machine the Kali machine you will see now all the windows have closed uh, except the one window here and it informs you that the password was saved in this file so the file is opt fluxion attacks so let's open the file, go to other locations, computer, look for OPT, Fluxion, Attacks, Captive Portal, Netlock, and open this with right click and open this with Text Editor. And you should be able to see your password here. This is the password. So this is how we do a captive portal attack using Fluxion. Thank you for watching.